Look at this legend. Look at her go. She doesn't give any sort of a sh**. She's just crashed. Walk straight to the zombie horn and how you go on to all the big zombies around him. G'day guys, my name's Josh. You can call me Joe Woodle and I know I said we were done. I know I said we're wrapping this up and moving on to something else, but welcome back to seven days and welcome back once again to the Winterween Overhaul mod because I'm back again because I had an ID. In the last episode when we had the big Samara fight and I saw just how great all these Baker Boys are, I had an idea. These guys are really good. This is the only mod that has these companion NPCs in it. So I want to see if I have enough friends, once in my life, if I have enough friends, can I completely AFK a maximum level Horde Knight using nothing but the power of friendship? I've still got all the stuff on me from the Samara fight. Turns out you don't need to be cleansed of a curse. You can defeat it with the power of shotguns and explosives. So I still have all of that. I'm going to take you three with me. Go and get my building materials as well and build a horde base from scratch. Try and get some more bakers as well and position them around and just see what I can do. Because I want to put my feet up, you know, kick my slippers on, do absolutely nothing, but still succeed in the horde. So you can all come with me. I think you, yep, you're all fine. Got my free baker books. All right, DD, come with me. We're going to go build. I don't really think I have to go too far away. I can't use that one again. That What's left of that horde base is basically a shambles. So I'm just going to go find some flat ground. Anywhere will do, really. Maybe just over here near Trader Gen. This looks pretty good to me. And start building up something. Because I feel like... My, my idea is, I'm thinking uh, a, a dozen, right? I was actually going to call this video The Baker's Dozen. They're having a dozen bakers uh, like surrounding a horde base they can all fire at one time might be the go. But then apparently, according to the comments, if I quickly turn on uh, debug mode, according to the comments, there's not only baker NPCs, but also some nurses. So I might get a couple of those. In fact, if I get six bakers and six nurses, we can make our own NPCs. Let's give a little gander at you. It's the old nurse. It's the Halloween nurse. And your name's Nana as well. <laughs> All right then, Nana the nurse. <laughs> Fair enough then. Clive will be hire you. Into the hive with $3,500 reduce. Yes, please. All right. Where were you for the entire series? I could have used you as my friend, not just pistachioed bakers. I'm not really super sure what kind of base I want to build for this. I'm thinking some sort of like elevated pathway, like a spirally kind of thing, like a tower defense kind of layout, uh, because I could use the NPCs as those towers, have them positioned around to fire at the zombies. Jenny girl's open for business. Good to know, but I'm going to start cracking on with the build. It's already 6 a.m. <laughs> the horde's on its way whether I'm ready or not. I've built these stairs too wide. I'm not especially sure why I did. I think like a single path is probably good. Although maybe if I can have like a dual path that then like uh, is symmetrical and peels off in opposite ways so I can funnel the zombies two different directions. I've got six on either side of that. Maybe six is going to be enough. I guess we'll find out. Let's go up to there. I've got some concrete underneath to try and keep it stable. It's all built on snow after all. And do I... Oh, do I go? Actually, that's not a bad idea. I reckon the pole side centers because that can be used as pathing by the zombies. I can walk across that happily. But if they do lose their footing, there's a better chance... Well, actually, there's a better chance of them like fumbling off the side instead of the pole. Let's go the pillar. Not 0 0.025, 0 0.05, right down the guts. Because Lee said it's a little bit smaller, a little bit more rounded, and hopefully less likely to catch the zombies. Make sure I put in some extra footing on the support pillars as well. The last thing I need is all this coming crumbling down. All this prep work just to have it collapse and then nothing works anyway. That'd be very me, actually. <laughs> very, very uh, usual, not unusual for my standard form. I've got that going to them. This might actually be pretty reminiscent of the base that I built for, what was it? Was it for no repair, I think it was? I'm pretty sure it was that one. I'm gonna go three wide on you. A little bit more convoluted, I suppose, because I'm not relying on my terrible aim to try and sort out the zombies. But I mean, the bakers and the nurses have really bloody good aim. I'd be surprised if they ever really miss. So you take advantage of that. I actually think three wide might be a little bit too fast. So I'm gonna walk that back and just go two wide instead to the next pillar. Because I've got, I don't know what the ranges are. Probably should have some testing if I thought more ahead. I don't know what the ranges on the NPCs are gonna be. And I want them to have access to all the zombies at all times. But I also think they might fire based on proximity, like when it's closest to them. 
So it's not like they can, they're going to focus on the lead zombie. They'll just focus on what they can see closest. That might be a bit of an issue for me. I'm going to need you back, please. Copy shape. Copy that rotation again. We're going to go this way. It's, <laughs> it's not looking like much at the moment, but hopefully it'll all come together. It's past 8 again, so the numbers are red. Definitely a horde coming. Got to make it all work. I think that's going to be <laughs> a bunch of titles. It's hard to see how it's all panned out. But I think that's going to be the main kind of idea. So I can like loop myself back again, have a couple of hairpins in them. Across to you and across to this one. And if I repeat this on the other side, so go out to about there, back to the right, back over to this one, leaving like a two block gap kind of like this between each path. Like they'll path for a very long way as long as that's the shortest route to get to me. Which I suppose is the other thing. I need to make sure that I'm 19 blocks away from wherever they're going to drop. Which is a long way away from... Especially if I continue it out to this side. It'd be like all the way over to there, I suppose. Are they still going to path that farm? That's a long bloody way to go. And at what point are they just going to decide to yeah, nah it and break down whatever bunker I'm standing in instead? That's a, that's a very good point. I suppose it all just comes down to math, right? Which, as we all know, is not even close to my strong suit. In fact, it's barely even a cheap suit. That goes like that one. So if I have, it's 64 zombies, so maximum zombies. If I can split the routes in two, that's going to give me 32 on each side and six NPCs on both sides. So, like, maybe? I I'm, I mean, they're pretty good. They're not, not foolproof, but they're pretty bloody good. Between six of them, they might actually better get it done. Got the rotation, go back this way again. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the, the right ratio of this is going to be. Tell you what, I've turned, <laughs> I've turned this into quite the maze, haven't I? So they come up there, all the way around, all the way that way, all the way along. You turn again, you turn again. And this will be the path that leads to the bunker that I'll be standing in. Still have to use myself as bait, but... Oh, that's okay. But they shouldn't attack the bakers, should they? Because what I was thinking about this is I wanted to make sure that I put the... Oh, so the bakers and the nurses, the NPCs. I forgot there was nurses in this. I wanted to put them slightly lower than what the zombies will be. Because as we discovered over at the water plant, if the bakers and the nurses, damn it, are shooting down uh, into the zombies, sometimes they uh, they keep shooting after the zombie's dead and they start breaking blocks. And if they break a block here, it breaks the pathing and then we're in some real bloody skittles. So I think if I put them lower, that'll be better. But I don't want the zombies to target no i don't think they will though because horde knight's different their programming is different on horde knight they target the player specifically so i think we'll be okay or we'll be completely stitched up i guess i guess we're gonna find out i'm building these little platforms just on the side of each of the gaps so that should be enough for what have i got i've got 12 so three there three there three there three here this should be enough space for three. I'm going to put in some bars on the front to make sure those zombies can make the jump over. Last thing I need is some of my NPCs dying to some pretty athletic zombie jumps. You can go like that, you there, and then that up to that one. So for they stand here, they've got a good line of sight all the way through. Oh, what am I doing though? What am I doing? We all know that the scaffolding ladders are so much better. All bars should add to scaffolding ladders and not vice versa. Scaffolding ladders are ridiculously good. One of my favorite blocks. You can go like that. Put your sideways so you look like bars anyway. At least then. I mean, it's just... Oh, actually, because that can still get hit by bullets, can't it? Whereas bars are always, always penetrable... Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Always penetrable by bullets. Uh, ladders only make sense for explosives and throwables, but for just plain bullets, we'll go back to bars. Old school. I think on the same kind of token, I don't want them making these jumps here, so I actually need some more frames, please. I've already used... How many do they have? Like 350? It might just go like another 400. You've got plenty of wood. Um, I don't want them making the jump across here so gonna get myself some bars gonna stick you up the inside like that doesn't have to be particularly tall just enough to kind of discourage them you can go there as well and like that i'll do the same on this side go around like you up like that one even though it's kind of like it's redundant i suppose but it's doubly redundant so Damn it, hopefully I won't have any sort of issues if one block does fail. I am very nervous. I don't know how NPCs are going to handle demolishes, if they're going to get TD Slappy happy and start causing off explosions or whatnot, but especially for cops and stuff as well, if some of this stuff, uh, stuff starts breaking, as soon as the path breaks, it's all over. You know what I'm thinking though? 
I have 12 NPCs to work with. It's only 12 because, again, it was going to be like the baker's dozen, but that idea is gone. Now, now we have the nurses. So if I have six on the front half, if I put two there, two there, and save two to potentially come and sit down here on a different crown, the last line of defense, so something does get through all of that, as they're coming up to the door of my bunker, that's when my little, uh, well, my NPC friends, which are fake friends again, old habits die hard, that's when my new NPCs can hopefully put down the last line. Uh, I need the center pillar of that one. We're gonna continue on like we were, all the way around like you. Now, I need to be... Oh, jeez, is it 13 or 19? I think it's 19 in my head, but I'm not sure how accurate that is. I need to be as far away from where the zombies drop as possible to stop them going in to destroy everything mode. If they break a pillar and something collapses, then this was all for moot anyway. It's a, it's a long way to go to get 19 away from there, though, isn't it? It's a long way to go. I actually had to go and look up one of my own videos to remember what the number was. It's 11, not 19. Not sure where 19 came from, but some questions don't have answers. So 11 blocks away from the closest part of the maze, I guess you want to call it. That's the magic number, according to me, and hopefully I'm right, that will stop them from going into the destroy everything mode. You can go like that. I'll attach you up to you. One more order to do it. Just like that. Perfect. All right. So now all I need to do is build myself some sort of bunker to stand in out here, put in some platforms for my last lot of defense NPCs to defend over here, and then concrete everything. And that should hopefully work. I feel like I say that a lot these days. I hope everything works. Now, before anyone asks, uh, no, I will not be using any rocket launcher NPC slot. We've done that before, and it had rather disastrous consequences, so definitely not doing that one again. You go like that, please. Up and go to the top. Yeah. <laughs> once once was enough handing a bunch of TNT to someone who can't control it. I can't be trusted with the explosives. Why do I think someone else could be? So the added benefit here is whatever NPCs I put on these little platforms will have pretty good line of sight of almost everything. I don't think they're going to have enough range to shoot all the way to the start over there, which is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. But anytime they're up on the bars, I reckon they've got a pretty good shot at it. That should work. That should, it's, it's barely even a horde base. Do you remember Mousetrap, like the board game? I was going to say way back in the day. I mean, I played that in the 90s way back then. But like, yeah, like Mousetrap, the board game. I feel like I'm playing Mousetrap, the zombie game, building some convoluted mechanism to try and deal with them rather than just like, you know, a bunker. <laughs> Ah, oh, I miss the good old days. The good old days of Alpha 16 dumb zombies. What a time that was. This will do us for the bunker. I don't really need much. I'm not, in, I'm not intending on fighting this at all. I'm putting all of my faith in the NPC. So all it is is just a door that le <laughs> leads into a box and a little bit of like aesthetic lying and stuff like that just to make it look a little bit nicer. But as, there's nothing going on at all over there. In fact, that, that hurts me to look at. Can I go? Yep, that'll do. Fix up some of the lines like that. Just because we're not actually doing any fighting out of it doesn't mean it could look like a train wreck. Aesthetics always better. You can't be going into battle like that. It's atrocious. One last thing because it's very important. It's a staple of every good base design, uh, especially good base designs, is the old pyramid stairs up the front up on you. Make sure those zombies get snagged on you. They can run straight up. Ooh, almost, ooh, maybe not straight up. I might have to go the big boy pyramid stairs. It's been a little while since I had to do that, but I'm okay with it if it's going to work for me. And you go like that way, I think. Oh, geez, it has been a long time. I've forgotten how to build them. Yeah, the real big pyramid stairs. That's looking a bit better. Do the same on this side. God, this is, this is a real big throwback. And that'll do us, I reckon. I reckon that's about the right... I hope it's about the right amount. I'm going to concretify all of this. Get it all nice and spick and spin. Run down there, around here. <laughs> As long as I can still path over the pillars, then we should be sweet. If I've misjudged that, then I'm already cooked. Might go and try and find a zombie to make doubly sure of that, but I think it's fine. Round to you, all the way down here, and that's where I'm going to be standing. Like, it's a long way for zombies to try and path, but at any one time, because it's so spirally and squiggly, at any one time, not actually that far away from me. So I reckon it might actually work, at least I hope it bloody will. And this will be either my... <laughs> My pedestal or my tomb? Not sure which one yet. Well, enough hanging about, enough waiting around. Time to get cracking on with it. Everything needs to be concrete. I'm not going to go up to steel. I mean, yeah, obviously steel would be a better idea, but I mean, concrete's my main resource for most things. Relatively easy to get. <laughs> Bonds are made. Got a skill point to spend as well. I'm not sure I'm going to need it. It took entirely way too long, but everything is now made out of concrete. 
Good, I'm myself a ton of time just building this in the testing world and not having to start with plywood and work my way all the way up again. Leave anything in you. Left all my ammo in you. I might actually need some of you then. I might actually need to take the bike a bit soon. In fact, I mean, now that we're at that point, we can start getting down our helpers. There's you. Now, you have... Oh, you've got some good guns in you, too. That's one thing I haven't really considered, actually, is what kind of weaponry I'm going to be using in all my NPC help. Take all of that for me for a second, please. Give me... You're all in the tier 6 SMG at the moment. I'll take you and you. I mean, I have quite a few from all of my raids, quite a few tier 5s and tier 6s and whatnot. You are packing... Nothing moment. You just got like the vanilla M60. I'll leave you with that one for the moment. But I think between, you know, a couple of rifles, a couple of SMGs, a couple of M60s, a couple of shotguns, uh, another tier 6 shotgun. Thank you. Another tier 6 M6, M60 even. That's what you're using. So you can hold on to that. That's all good. Yeah, I've got, I've got a lot of weapons. Well, time to getting all my friends in order. So I've got, what? Well, I've got three bakers and one nurse. So I need three more bakers. And it doesn't really matter what, what I get, actually. And five more nurses. Let's just get, like, you, you. In fact, let's get the lowest level ones, because then it'll be cheaper to hire. That's smart thinking. Pop shotgun soon. All my dreams are coming true. There's five nurses in front of me. You, interested in hiring you. Except that one. Oh, don't run away from me. <laughs> I want to hire you all. i got a job for all of you. You can be a real nurse. I'll get you in some scrubs with this big ten Halloween costume. It's taken a good old whack of time, but I've got six nurses on the right and six bakers on the left. Didn't really mean to split it right down the middle like that, but it just made the most better sense. Everything's nice and symmetrical. All right. I think we're good. You guys are all on your platforms. I'm gonna grab my bike and go and hang out in my bunker. Like, I still have my weapons on me. Not that I'm really gonna use them at all, but it's always nice to feel like you've got a chance. Look at them. I mean, the face in the wrong way, but that's okay. When there's a zombie shop, I'm sure they'll all spin about. I've got some spikes up on the roof up there to deal with the pigeons, because I couldn't be bothered placing an NPC up there purely just for the birds. But here we are. This is this is my tomb, and even Dee Dee has left me. All right, catch you later. I hope you go float off and find some more friends. Ah, there you are, Deeds. Pat, pat, pat. Good to have you with me. I've put down some lanterns so that I can see, but obviously not going to see diddly squat from inside this bunker. So I'm going to pop out of my body and we can get a view from outside and see how it all goes. There is the nighttime noises and there are all the zombies already. The bakers are kicking off. The nurses are kicking off. All right. It's all up to you lot now. I, I won't be able to help you at all. And... They're not nearly dying as quick as I... Would you... Would you focus on the Muppets running of the maze, please? Not the clowns at the bait. Oh, no. I... I... I may have, uh... Underestimated how enthusiastically the zombies would chase me. Oh, God. Not demos, too. Rather than chasing after the NPCs, it's a nurse firing squad up the top, but they're not killing anyone. Forget your Hippocratic Oath. You need to do some damage out there to protect me. Where's your oath to me gone? There you go. That's a little bit better. When I start making up into the mazes, they do actually start doing what I'm needing to do. Catch you later. Old mate's getting real rowdy downstairs. It's it's gone much worse. It's it's gone much worse. Than I was expecting it to. I'm not giving up hope just yet. Keep going, everyone. Keep it checking. That's a that's a lot of zombies and not a lot of help. They're already making it to the door. They're already making it to the door. Thank goodness I built it out of pillars so they do fall off the sides. There's no way you can reach that far. I don't care if you go, go, bloody gadget. Your extended arm should be able to reach that much of a distance. No! Okay. It didn't break everything, though. That's some that's some mighty big cracks in the bar already. And here comes another one. All right. The nurses, all the bakers have a thing for titties and they slap their nipples. That's a bit of a problem. It's a shambles. There's things everywhere. So what? They do target... The zombies do target NPCs as much as they target me. I thought they only targeted players, but they're definitely going for the bakers and nurses too. There goes another demo, I'm pretty sure. Well, at least not coming through the door anymore. They're trying to break through the um, through the bars to get to the NPCs, but not really much else. It's just a sea. It's a sea of blue goo. I don't even know who's doing what anymore. But you lot, probably need to turn around. They're all behind you, love. Spin about with you. One of the nurses has apparently fallen off her ledge. I'm not sure why or what she's doing, but she's down and about in the snow now. There's a lot of damage being done to the snow underneath. I mean, it looks bloody cool. The old panning shots right up the guts of everything, seeing everything going wrong. In fact, it's a, 
Look at that. Cinematic as anything. This is what a horde not supposed to be. Put that in the trailer for Winterween. But like, other than that... Oh, God, they're at the door. They're at the door. But last time the fence isn't doing anything. Although the pillars are standing up for the moment. As long as I keep on dropping and running, it should be all right. But definitely not panning out. Oh, my goodness. As well as I'd hoped. That's a very broken pillar. Couple of crumbs being held together with toothpaste. But stay standing, please. It's like watching a screensaver. It's, it's like it's like you know when you watch like the DVD logo bounce around the, the the screen, waiting for it to hit the corner perfectly. It's like I'm watching that, but it's a zombie battle. It's bloody cool though. I'm quite enjoying it. It's like a one little individual zombie as he charges all the way around before getting battered and cutted by a nurse. But every time that demo shows up and I watch his nipples glow, I get real bloody antsy about it. I don't know how that one nurse fell off the side, but it is what it is, I guess. Have a look in. Have a look in from this end. Wherever it is, that nurse, by the way, she might be dead. You're being on the pillar. Hopefully, we get sick of that eventually and go back around the other way. There are so many... Oh, geez, all right. There are so many different ways, so many different pillars for the zombies to target. I might get through, but <laughs> I don't like my hopes. Look at this legend. Look at her go. She doesn't give any sort of a shit. She's just crashed. Walked straight to the zombie horn and said, how you go on all the big zombies around him? What an absolute weapon you are. I don't even know who you are or what you are, but you're at a level that I can only dream of attaining. Rest of the nurses are looking fine. No pillars are down. No parving is down. I'm still safe in my bunker, I think. They're actually doing a pretty decent job. Thank goodness I dug my pillars into the ground, though, because it's all sorts of a mess down here. If I hadn't have done that, we would have had a collapse ages ago. Oh, no, there's a demo at the door. There's a demo at the door. Someone! Someone, please! Uh-oh. Protect me! Yes, come on. No, that's the wrong zombie. Okay, good. He's gone. He's down. The door took a bit of a battering, but I'm still safe inside with DD. <laughs> Bunking away and hoping it all goes well. That's, uh, that's concerned. That was two swings from a demo. Oh, jeez. No one tickle him. No one tickle him. He's not an Elmo. He's not red and fuzzy. Everyone leave him alone. He's getting that sweet, sweet overhead panning view because... Oh, it's, oh, no. It's cinematic as everything. That's not cinematic as anything. He's coming through the door. Come on. Come on, nurse. Come on, nurse, please. Please, nurse. you got to help me. No! That's it. That's it. It's all over. He's in. Nothing I can do. I have to watch myself die. Although, I'm not actually going to do that because it's now over. I don't have to go and fall on my shit again. We made it just after midnight. Just after midnight. You are shitting me. You are shitting me. 1 a.m. we got to before you guys all let me down. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly murder you. No, I won't. No, I won't. Murder you. Murder you. I'm going to put up another door and see if we can last the rest of the night. We've already failed, but we want to see what else goes on. I've put the door back up. My bunker is now relatively safe again. Not particularly safe, but some sort of safe. And everything is now kicked off once more. I probably should have gone and, like, <laughs> re-established you back on your position. I'm not sure why I get down there. You're just kind of hanging out, but that's all good. All right. I thought we were going to be okay. That one demo just refused to go down like that orc in Lord of the Rings. Ah, well, we were going to make it through the rest of this. Then maybe, you know, we could have just double doored. Could have double doored the front of the bunker and made it across. I want to see. I just want to see how far we can go. These guys just don't really seem interested, do they? No, is that because I, am I too far away from you and now you're not actually acting as guards? Is that why? That's really annoying if that's the case. What happens if I move my body like all the way up to the front near the door? Do more of you guys start getting up and about it? No. You're just gonna you're just gonna stare at me. You're just gonna stare at me and think about croissants when you should be thinking about baking some zombies instead. Alright, well that's uh that's a slight flaw in the plan. No wonder we failed. These two of you aren't doing anything either. And you're down on the ground. So what we've got like two-thirds of our firepower working. We've lost we've lost five of our twelve. That's awful. There's definitely more zombies making their way to the door now than there was before. Some of those zombies have worked uh, not the zombies, some of the NPCs have woken up over here though. Firing in the wrong direction, but that's all good. The last arm of the fence nurse is also not firing the wrong way. Nor are you. I mean I put you in a guarding position. I can't really decide which way you want to face. Thank goodness for that. Old mate's gone. All right. The door's a little bit crooked, but it's still standing for now. What's the time, actually? Oh, I've got... Is that... Is that Nana? Is that... 
Is that the nurse that's on the ground or actually up in a position? Maybe I didn't put it down properly. I've got one health bar over there, but it's quarter past two. Come on, just an hour and a half to go. Not a very high kill horde night, but if we can survive, well, <laughs> the second time around, that'll be okay. Ish. Look at the damage to the ground that the zombies have caused, though. That is more pockmark than point to heart. That is ridiculous. And it's all from, it's all from the zombies, even. Like, the NPCs make the difference. And something, like, zombies get in there and start making it worse. But they don't really to blame for that. Oh, no, not on the demo. Not on the demo. Off you go. Off the side. Well done. The Nancy. Look, look, thank Nancy. Old school Nancy the nurse. Lured him to the side. Well done, Nance. Although your pillar's not looking great. I hope you survive the night. How are we looking, actually? We've got... Oh, it's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. One hour to go. There's no one at the door. There's no enemy at the gates. Drew Law can calm down. Come on, everyone. Keep at it. Oh, my lanterns are gone, too. It's getting dark over here. Nothing but the blue hue of zombies. There's basically no zombies in the front half. I'm, I'm calling this end the front half, that half the back half. Basically, no zombies in the front half at all. So maybe the NPCs have worked up and doing a slightly better job or just choosing better targets. All oh, the parking still works. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's one at the door. There's one knocking on the door. Come on, one of you guys. You want to spin around and deal with that? Come on. Oi, Baker boy. <laughs> he's been alive over there. Oh no, he's been alive for so long. Now he's got a twin. One's gone. Where on earth are you, Fire and Jigglypuff? Are they finally deciding to just lose their own footing and slip off the side like butter in a pan? <laughs> it's, I'm basically only not dead already uh, again because of the zombies' own uncoordination. That's that's it. We can't be too far away from morning, if that's how we're looking. Three minutes away from morning. We're almost dead. We're almost bloody there. There's no one in the front half or in the back half. We're going to do it. And that'll do us. Right there. I'm actually just going to turn off the AI so I can just freeze everyone in place and have a look at how it's all gone. How that is standing, I do not know. I suppose actually it's pretty close to that pillar, so it's probably actually held up by that one, but that's not looking too crash hot either. <laughs> that's a lot of zombies. That's a lot of bloody zombies. A lot of damage. But you know what, though? Because the NPCs have infinite ammo that I don't have to give them, that cost me zero. That cost me zero in ammo expense. Just like a couple of bits of... Oh, jeez. Oh, all right, then. Thank goodness the top lock broke, so that path actually still works. But all that cost me is building materials. That's the cheapest horde night ever. I'm going to get ourselves a nice little hero shot just here, because of course we can. Got six, uh, six bakers on my right and six nurses on my left. Somehow they all made it through. Even Nana, who was down on the ground in the zombies. But everyone's still here. Everyone's still accounted for. The base is still accounted for. So... I posed the question at the start of this, this is the title of the video, that can you survive a maximal horde night with nothing but NPCs? And turns out, well, I didn't, but I reckon you probably can. I'm going to say yes-ish. A couple of things go differently then, you survive. If all of my NPCs were working the whole time, you survive. I just think there might be a limit to how many NPCs can be active at any one time, especially given the limitations of seven days and having 64 zombies alive at the same time. We all know that the brain power of like the AI system isn't great, does get overloaded pretty regularly, especially with that many entities at the same time. So if all of them were firing, absolutely. But as it stands, a couple things go differently then, and I think I survive. So I'm gonna say a tentative yes. I can't because I'm a galah, but you, with all your wonderful talent that I'm so jealous of, you probably can. So, there you go. We we didn't survive, but you could survive a maximal horde night with nothing but using the NPCs. But, now that we have that answer to that question, I'm going to leave this episode here, and this is legitimately... <laughs> I've said it like three times now, but I promise you, this is it. This is the last one. This is the last episode in the Winterween world. Once again, a massive thank you to Zith and Sphere, Sphere 2, Sphere for making the mod possible. It's been a good lot of fun. I'm very sad that I never found any of these nurses during my proper playthrough. I'd rather roll around with four nurses with shotguns and four bakers with shotguns, but you know what? 
I'm not upset. I'm not upset at all. It was a good bloody time. Got something new for you tomorrow. Hope you're excited for that one. But I'll have to come back and start a new series in seven days. I already know what it's going to be now. I've done some research. I've got something planned for you in another episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. I'm going to talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.